Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's stream. I am Vladimir Ledoux, and tonight we're going to be playing some more Until Dawn. I have actually been eyeing this game for a long time. Um, I got it free with PlayStation Plus and just never played it. <laughs> so we're going to change that, and we're going to go through and play this. <clears throat> Shoutouts to everybody that's come in so far. So, Evil Empire Games, thank you so much for the host. Welcome, Phoenix Growl, Evil Empire Games. Birch Miller, thank you so much for the fly, the five. I cannot speak the five bits. Thank you. And no, I'm not going to be playing till until dawn. <laughs> um, Phoenix Hero, thank you for the host. Bo Kirby as well. And welcome, Phoenix Hero. How is everybody doing today? Oh my God. Take a breath, lad. Take a breath. Abandon your current progress and start a new story. Oh, it's just what it says. I have not started the story. So here we go. Let's let's just get into this. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. I don't know much about this game. I know it has some horrific death scenes. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. I like that. Choose your actions carefully. It's like Life is Strange if Life is Strange was a horror game. How many people does Vlad get killed? <laughs> All of them, Phoenix. All of them. If last night was any go-to when I was playing Too Dark, I'd kill them all. Oh, I th I'm sure he's here for a party. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. It's kind of quiet, or is that just me? Hannah! <laughs> <laughs> My reply is no. <laughs> She's by herself, except for the passed out dude on the counter. Hey, Classic horror story that? trope. Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. They're both passed out. Can I? Oh, I can walk around. Okay. Uh, press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Okay, hold on. Is there a way I can adjust the... The volume seems weird. Audio. Everything is up. Really? Okay. Um... I'll throw in subtitles for you guys, and potentially myself, too. What's sidebar text? No. We are going to want to invert the aiming. Just invert... I don't know what... Nope. 
Well, just just aiming, just aiming. Doom gamer, welcome back. How you doing? <clears throat> Sidebar text gives you letters and stuff from plain text as well as the stylized text. Okay. There's no way to make her run. What did... Okay. Right. L1 makes her run? Yeah, it makes her walk faster. Okay. Because some of the stylized text is kind of hard to read. Oh, well, if that's the thing, then I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that on. Then sidebar text is on. Eat milk and cookies. Oh, that sounds amazing. I wish like stuff I could interact with was like maybe slightly highlighted, like. What all right now the real question here. What kind of cookies? Alright. Wake up dudes. Use the right stick to look around the objects that glint can be inspected. Gotcha. So they do do something I was hoping. Jeremiah Crag. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. It sounds like she's like in... It sounds like she's in this I tiny little isolated question. room, which... Come out to welcome. And see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh, my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all good. It's just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Right stick to choose. Choose what? We're gonna find others. Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? Derpy grin on his face, right? Hannah! There's someone outside. Let's all run outside. What's going on? Where's my sister going? Fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. That wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, maybe. Oh, shit! Hey. Um, let's go fast. Why not? Uh, follow footprints. I know, they're a bunch of assholes. She was just running literally outside the window. No fucking clue where she was going. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? They, like, tricked her to go up into the room to take off her shirt for this dude she has a crush on, who is apparently dating one of these other girls. And they were all there filming, so... Use the touchpad as shown. Hannah! 
wreck the light beam with the right stick. This is I'm trying to make my brain do multiple things at once. It's a little hard. I don't know who screamed there. I don't know if that was me or if Hannah is out here. Hello? Hello? Not gonna lie, that fucking thing kinda made me jump. Yeah, pick up the mysterious idol that's just sitting in the middle of the freaking snow. That's that's a good thing to do. Okay, got it. Why is it not... There. God, that was not... What the fuck? Uh, Totem Prophecies. Indigenous tribes believe the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the event of the past will become clearer. Alright, so how many of you have actually played this game or watched someone play this game? Why are you not freaking out about that? <laughs> the Hannah. fuck, girl? <laughs> Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah? Okay, come on. Fuck your phone. You don't need your phone. Is it a goddamn dragon? I mean... <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> okay, no, he's got... Alright, bye, so Hannah. <laughs> I don't know. That was not the right thing to do. <laughs> that was not the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no mercy from Black. Again, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, shit. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As okay, Phoenix Scrap. Okay. Every single choice will affect your fate. And the no more on the spoilers, though. You. They did do a good job with the face capture. So... You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, 
you'll always find a way to work through it. Is this dude like Jigsaw? I mean, what the hell? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. All right, Phoenix. It's essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. That made me uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? It's the damn scarecrow. <laughs> well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Will you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Yes. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, eh, I wouldn't care. So, the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear. The fear of corn would make me leave. The supernatural. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? I'm so confused because it's very clearly I'm sitting on the other side of the desk, like, like it's my desk. Why is? Wait, never mind. No, there's the pictures. They're looking the other way. I'm sitting on the. I got gotcha. you. Intense fear, corn. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what other games Supermassive Games made. Have you guys played the game Maze? Because that's another game I can't wait to play. I have it. I just, my PC currently can't run it. Um, once I get my PC built, which should be here probably by November, um, we're going to play some Maze. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but... The girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. 
Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means... They got quite a cast of people for this game. It means so much to me that we're doing this. And that... Dude, these people are some dirtbags. I know dirt it bags. so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you. And um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For... For the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> fucking just really scummy people like i don't think i'm gonna like and necessarily care if any of these people die. Blackwood Pines. They had a party like porn stars. So is he, is he saying like let's have orgies? Like I'm really confused what he's trying to get out of this. Ten hours until dawn. Okay. Sure, just drop you off in the middle of fucking nowhere. And there's our there's our friend again, guys. Immediately have the main cast be complete asshats and expect us to sympathize with them. Like, no. Diligent, Hannah's best friend, considerate, adventurous. She was the only one that seemed semi considerate, but you know what? She still didn't go find her friend and stop it, so kind of fuck her, too. Hello? Someone there? Path to Cable's car station. Stop giving me tutorial shit. There's no way to turn that off either. It's just gonna keep doing that. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Jesus, never mind. We'll go safe. This is just gonna be a game of quick time events. Keep climbing. Jake gives everybody's AKs. <laughs> uh. Like they do exist, and they're evil. Hey, little fella. <clears throat> I'm not moving the controller in the slightest. <laughs> you're gonna get rabies. Damn squirrel's gonna bite you and you're gonna die. That's how you're going down. Oh, 
Whoops. Rainbows out of its ass. That's fucking putts down in right there, right? What does this say? <clears throat> <laughs> cool. Alright, so indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death was black butterflies prophesied by the dreamer's death. Danger was red butterflies. Loss was brown. Guidance was yellow. And fortune was white. Oh boy. Okay, that's great. Can I pick it up, please? That's right, made of diamonds. And you fed him, he would shit out treasure. You know, I'm going to take this. This is the second time my dad's called me. Um, I will be right back, everybody. Never mind. That was not my dad. You know, he hasn't been doing too well health-wise, so I just didn't want to miss that. <clears throat> but it was a damn telemarketer. I don't want to press R1 right now. I know. What is Chris? over here? You here? There's somebody's backpack. Not, You're not in the bag, are you? Answer it. Snoop. <laughs> Aha. Look who it is. He knows it. Chris. Has a crush on Ashley Ashley methodical, productive, and humorous. Yeah. I hope he's alright too. Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. Somehow I doubt that. <clears throat> Milgram oh, Victor, nice. male, 6'2". Last known address, Blackwood Pines, wanted himself? in connection with the first oh, degree arson this offense, as well as here. various death Will threats. I think that's our friend. Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. So you have a crush. <laughs> oh, so now I'm this dude. I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna 
go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. I, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Don't shoot the squirrel. No. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. All right, Come so we on, let the squirrel Chris, live. <clears throat> Oh, I did not know I fully switched to playing this dude now. Okay. Did not know that was how this worked. I was... I thought I was playing her. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Doors locked. Yeah. Um, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yep. Does Sam have a key? Or Just whatever. You. Chris? Oh, Chris. She's Sam. That's right. I don't think that's going to keep our friend out of here, though. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. For healthy body and mind. Huh? Why did he say, huh? I don't see anything. Car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is it gonna take? Sammy Chris it's sounds like the name of Bad Nick Sitcom. Huh? Enter car. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, yeah, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. He's gonna kill I all of you. I've seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. I'm not sure where it was pointed. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I think it was like a tub. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, he's bringing it full circle. <clears throat> 
Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, and I'm her now. Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to this whole just like constantly changing characters. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jess! Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I suppose. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear close oh, right? president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um. Uh... Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut. Isidos, welcome to the stream. How you doing? All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Mean Mike. What? I mean, Wait. you know. Didn't whoever. Mike invite us? Why the fuck isn't he up here? <laughs> it's awfully rude. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. Oh, there's going to be all kinds of drama. I just see it now. Yeah, where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> Kill Emily and see me. Alright, I've never played, so uh, keep it down on the, uh, getting chills. the spoilers. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. I love these games because, like, I just can't. You don't walk normal. Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, persuasive. I say kill them just for the sake of hating them. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. I can't oh, keep up with how many guys. people it swaps me in. Right? Right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. You're kind of being a dick. <laughs> uh, welcome. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. <laughs> Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, kill them. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, I'm gonna go make out with my ex-boyfriend. I need to go find Sam. 
okay? Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Wow. Dude, you're better to just go. <laughs> all right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Sucker. <laughs> Who am I going to be now? <sighs> Has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. I told you. Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, what? I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Take a look at? in the binoculars. Is juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, yeah, take a look. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. <laughs> yes. I would. I don't know. I'd uh, rather know. Damn it. <laughs> son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen. It's probably nothing. Nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? Why are you no, with no, her if that's how you think, dude? <laughs> Matt. Wait. I don't know. I, if I was him, I would rather like to know. <laughs> Let's be honest. Dude's not gonna live anyways. Nice guys always die first. <laughs> Read a book? Oh! Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard? Come <laughs> it looked like custody. it was porn of some kind, right? <laughs> I don't know. Some Where smutty like book. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like Fifty Shades of Grey or something. Oh, <laughs> Fifty Shades hey. of Snow. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? I feel so creepy right now. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, snap! Put a rock in it. <laughs> Hello, come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom, shock okay. no, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty Shades of Ways to Kill Your Friend in the Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> Sometimes nothing to do is the right you thing can't to do. Can't hide from me, Michael. I know all. I'm not. G Why? Who in their right mind would hit this poor defenseless bird? Oh yeah, you're getting one right in the face. Whoa! Oh. That's right. One, yes. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Wow. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent. 
Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. I just oh. wanted to see her hit him oh. with a snowball. <laughs> what am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Dude, how f it took forever for that cable car to show up. What the fuck? Who the hell builds a house all the way up here? I mean, it'd be freaking awesome, don't get me wrong. Oh, this guy again. Oh, okay. What's up, Doc? And how are we feeling? Hmm? Chipper. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. I am an expert with years of experience. You don't think you can mislead me. You know, I've talked to a therapist. None have ever been that aggressive. What the this fuck? Time, <laughs> we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. All right. I'd say the woman, because she looks angry. Crowds. I don't like crowds. I'm like that's just me in general. I'm not a crowd kind of person. I fear heights more than drowning. Fuck snakes. Guns are scary, don't get me wrong. There's something about knives that's infinitely more scary. No snakes. Stop fucking... <laughs> I don't like them. He's not even paying attention. Oh, shit. That clown's far scarier than that scarecrow. Um, Gore, I guess, is scarier than crows. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You know what scares me? You do, sir. Try <laughs> to speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Ugh, needles. <laughs> dude, dude, I can deal with zombies. That fucking clown. I'm not even afraid of clowns. That fucking clown can... Needles. Needles. Am I gonna get stabbed with a bunch of needles? Dude, he's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. At least he didn't yell at me this time.
clown with a pet snake throwing needles at <laughs> it. Previously on Until Dawn. I'm... I am utterly confused right now. Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch! So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, <clears throat> get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? How did this dude get all the way up here and, like, not use the cable? He wasn't on the cable car at all. He wasn't on the exterior of the cable car. Yo, 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 we got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Um... Uh... Let's get awesome. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Okay, I really want to know, does anyone actually say yeah. the word coaches? Okay. I don't think I've ever used that in, like, every common day vernacular. Um, it's weird to be back. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, aren't I supposed to lead the way, buddy? Out of my way. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Cut it out, bro. Hey. Cut it out. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some That Josh is, a. Uh... Yeah. He's oh what's Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see I know who he is, I just I can't mean, can think of the actor's name. Ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities. You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Brody. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, is he bro? Mr. Robot? Okay, I thought so. No mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> I actually right, need right, to right, watch yeah. that show. I've heard it's really good. It's one I've never bro, seen. I'm planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. 
Um, the axe is missing. It has been removed. That is not a good sign. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. That's a drop. He grew legs and walked okay. away. <clears throat> Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and poosh. Dude, you're gonna burn the fucking door down. <laughs> All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God speak, pilgrim. Oh, this is how. This is how things go horribly awry. Told you, nice guys, man. He's gonna. He's gonna be the first to go. I know there's a, a campaign. I already read that. Penta, thank you for the host, buddy. If you guys are not following Penta Hybrid, and I feel like most of you are. But if you're not, give that man some love. Damn good streamer. Um, Where's the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? This is a room. I'm sub dependent too. <laughs> Ex janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Victor Mul Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram is an employee the janitor of the Mountain's old hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the, sen the sentencing ended with an ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife Melinda calling her a fucking whore he vowed to get all of you your fucking husband and kids and said that he would make them suffer Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case and later claimed that she was upset by Milgram's threats she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe All right, out we go. Oh, this just doesn't. Please connect the controller. Oh shit, my controller died. Hold on. <laughs> I knew it was close. Portrait. Okay. What the hell was that? Um, it was a door closing. Oh. 
I'm gonna say it's safe to say you are not alone, sir. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? <laughs> Maybe. Just, just maybe. How are there no lights? Shit is breaking. Oh, this is not gonna go well. I don't know where the bathroom is. No idea where I'm supposed to go. Just kind of wandering. Just sleep on the couch. <laughs> Keep everyone out in the cold. Like, Fuck you guys, I'm a nice guy. And... You all are mean. I'm just gonna hang out here. Ready for the senior prom. Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily. That's not where we need to go. Guess we'll go this way. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to <laughs> How many skulls do they need to have? <laughs> Welcome back, Phoenix Girl. Alright, I'm... I guess we're going upstairs, everybody. Tate is a terrible name. You know that guy grew up being called Taint his whole life. <laughs> is there no reason why I'm up here? What the... is drumming. This is what the camera was looking at. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking badger. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking badger. <laughs> Dude, that would have been hot as shit to touch. Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby wolverine. Baby. It was a wolverine? Right, buddy. Gonna be a big boy soon. It's even t more terrifying, man. 
Guys, there's somebody in this house. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. I don't know, how did it get in there? Yeah, not just here. in the you house, how did it get in a out? cupboard? Not a lot of action up here lately. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, man. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Just stay away from Emily. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude. What are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Alright, Matt, right. you're a nice guy. Right. What's not going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Is no one concerned that there's no lights or anything? I <laughs> oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah. All a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. She's a bitch. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think they that's have weird something? mouths. <laughs> that thing is on crack or something. Uh, Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> we can't get along for ten minutes. I had a 4.0 in high, high school. Break, Give me right? the best job you can. <laughs> Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. To be fair, you should be mad at your boyfriend. He invited her. <laughs> well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? I do not it's like not her. Not one bit. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay. She's another actress. I know who she is, but I can't put my finger on it either. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. They got a pretty nice star-studded cast here. I gotta give them that. Cabin, anyway. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. 
I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. Josh is kind of creepy. With me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Nicole Bloom started in 2014. Teen Wolf. Frank No idea where I've seen her from. My wife watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. I could have maybe been there. I don't know. She'd often watch it while I'm asleep. And it's horrible. Like, she'll watch a lot of TV while I'm asleep because she wakes up really early. And it, like, subliminally gets implanted into me. So then all day long, like, I'll have, like, theme songs stuck in my head of shows I've never seen in my life. She wanted the double D. She did. She was down for it for a second there. Like, wait, I can get double teamed? All right. <laughs> hey, Hot Lips. Photo booth? All right. Read my mind. Okay. And... Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards. I did that on purpose. I wanted to see if we could see some dude like hiding out in the out in the bushes. Apparently, they did. The game was not thinking that. It is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. I may be. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us Dude, out here. Dude, drop it. I think you bring out the worst there. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Wait a minute, what's this? Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? No use. <laughs> God, <it is. laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Someone's gonna die. I gotta see who. Hey, Mike. Gonna find the generator or what? Ashley's in trouble. Like, so are they not going through this? Because, like, I would have been like, I would have dropped that shit and been like, oh shit. <laughs> There's a friend nearby, guys. Sam, the gates shall open. Let's be honest, that gate's not keeping anybody good, out. Right? Yeah, totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you 
psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. Hey, Wall Nation plays like run. <laughs> the investigation okay I'm getting the creeps now I uh, hope they're at peace well, wherever they are I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. I'm it's fairly nice certain that's about. not what Hannah's thinking you kind of fucked her over bro Bring something, all right. <laughs> the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. That was no Wolverine. We can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Oh, God. So, why would you do that? Fuck. Oh. Hey, Jessica. Yep. Hey. I'm okay. Holy crap. You scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Do you act so careless yeah. about it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. I'll jump down. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheesy, but it, it it was worth it. That was a good laugh. Alright. You're gonna die down here. So this was supposed to be a hotel and a sanitarium. Why is there a mine in here? None of this makes sense. Okay. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? She fell, so <laughs> he followed her down. What is with this area? Nightfall. Wonder who's out there. Welcome. Who says whoa, Nelly? <laughs> You're about an yeah, hour and forty minutes. That's okay. How you doing, Nightfall? To what? Oh shit! You all right? Uh, yeah. Close one. Damn jump scares. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's time to go. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here. You're dumbass. Fell down here. Jesus. Uh, it's also his danger. Rubber. All 
Why won't she let me lead? I'm the one that has the fucking light. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! Where in the hell are we? I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, everyone. Have a good stream. Thank you, Phoenix Girl, for coming on by. Also, it's gonna be great when we get the moral decisions. <laughs> what is this? Okay, it's nothing. Cabin. This way. I love that. Just, just, just the word cabin. <laughs> well, well. When Josh said cabin. That's how I read all my instructions. Welcome, Penta. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? How you doing, buddy? Give that man some love if you're not following him. Oh, a telescope. Right, gonna Penta. Trees, gonna look at the glass, <laughs> gonna look at the tab. Um, whoa. All right. I just saw someone at the cabin. No. Okay. <laughs> Who did you see? Oh god. Did he didn't notice that cuz he was pulling away. Hey Jess. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> okay? What's that? Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. <laughs> A legendary what? carnivore this powerful I predator is known to attack idea. elk, caribou and any stricken animal they come across. Let's now Alberta the hunting and baiting of wolves is permitted on, on private please. land. Not hug a bear. Yeah, that was no bear. That was no bear. Definitely not a bear. Alright. This is a long build up, and I'm not sure where this is going. There's a caribou right there. Watch out Fucking owl. Brain. Phoenix Hero, I feel you, man. I'm tired, too. Sky rats. <laughs> Damn it, Josh. Could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? Get it trending, really? not an owl. What? Check a look, man. For the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo. Grab some food, Go let me know off. if anything juicy happens. Okay, hey, we'll do. You've got something on your face. Ah. Boo. Okay. Okay. That's how it's Are you sure that was a dove? Uh yes. dude. I <laughs> Sammy What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh well, I was just getting into the bath. 
That water looks nasty. Deep, you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Did she not think to scream when she was grabbed, or was it like a delayed reaction? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Thought maybe she was like, oh, he's just messing with me, and didn't think to actually be like, oh shit, somebody's grabbing me. Alright, um, I guess we're leaving the bath. What was that? Um, I don't know. It was floor creaking. This house has made far creepier noises. Jonathan D. Smith, tattoo artist. March 18th, 2013, 9.30 a.m. That looked like it was a snowy owl. Stuff. <laughs> I know my owls. Okay, Penta, I'll, I'll give you this one. <laughs> Because the kids' room trope is not overly used, right? Dear Hannah, I would have been delighted if you could attend my awesome party at 7 p.m. at the location of Casa de Mike. Might have been a bell. Owl. Poorly rendered owl. It sounded like a crow. It, I don't know what it was. It's an albino crow. Most of these C's, uh oh, that's not going to work. He's a crazy, reckless hunk of a man, and you're staying at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor for the piano. Give up on it, or do something like really wild run away from home or get a tattoo or something. Anything to attract his pre precious attention. I mean, it's just for love, right? Just do it. Most likely not a crow. <laughs> Albino crow. It'll be like in a. I believe it was hot tub time machine where they're the whole great white buffalo. It's the great white crow. PS4 pre order exclusive. <laughs> um, I love this. Yeah, she's just like totally helping herself to going through this dead girl's shit. <laughs> Oh, I recognize that picture. What did that say? I did not read that part. Hannah, Josh, and Beth were invited to Sam's Halloween party October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress up obligatory. Okay. You snoop. Someone's going to find you. I've already played this like five times, but is acting surprised for effect. <laughs> it's Jeepers Creepers, man. There's a third one in development? What happened to the second one? Oh, the cre Jeepers Creepers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant this game for a second. Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Nope, we can't go in there. Alright. You know 
what? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. Who do shit? No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. I mean, if it's an only basement. purple chat. <laughs> right, you guys see oh, you Nightfall got in the way. Board. Yeah, spirit board's a Ouija board. <laughs> okay. Guess so. Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Do I really have a choice? I don't think I have a choice in this matter. So let's go. We came so far to lose it all. Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Welcome back, Doom. Cape Cod, Josh with his lovely sisters, Hannah and Beth. Looking great, guys. Looking great. I'm coming. I'm just snooping. Alright. Shackled by the world's too. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say... It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Uh, we're here for you. Gosh, we're here for you, really. Whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know. Give him a pat on the bottom. He's a fine actor. I need to watch Mr. Hey, watch Robot. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. And that's the cheerleader from uh, Heroes. Hidden. Penitaire, or whatever her name is. Some famous people in this game. Wait! They look shiny. Nope. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know. Five bits, thank you. Definitely creepy down here. Thank you, Nightfall, for the mucksy bits. Not a place to be on your own. Ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna take a bat. I'm not sure why I'm taking a bat. Let's be funny. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Dude, Josh is creepy. This guy, right? I don't trust this dude one bit. Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that face?
Hey, oh crap, I moved. You just keep the light but so I didn't I move is the thing. Okay? It says I moved, but I didn't move. What the hell? Probably would have kicked that guy's ass if he knew. Yeah. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Oh. Dude, there was someone that ran behind in the back right. right. Bye, girl. Oh shit. I left him hanging. I'm sorry, bro. I had an itch. with QTEs, I know, right? I just realized this dude's got PTSD and I'm fucking with him. Let's go check it out. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? I'm like, ring my bell. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Why didn't you grab the fucking bat? You had a weapon. You've decided to kill a <laughs> The fuck. Kick the fucker down the stairs. That? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> That's no, the Penta character. <laughs> my game wife. <laughs> oh, this guy again. Um, this is only getting worse. He's got like boards up there now. What the fuck? I would 
would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? No. And how do you feel about people who are afraid? Um. I feel sympathy. I see. Well, Chris has a fear of failure. Do you feel pity for him? Sympathy is far different than pity. So, no. Indeed. That is apparent from the choices you've made. Investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What do you value? What do you respect in yourself and others? Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Um, I value honesty. So, you would tell the truth. <clears throat> Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I do not understand this man's deal. And yeah, the psychiatrist is nuts. What is with the. F I never noticed the giant fucking treble hook right there. Holy shit. <laughs> it was just a prank, Han. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here He's together. He's a fan of fishing. I'm thinking of them. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a very a big fan. <laughs> Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check Xbox out the app crashes, crashes I when I get PMs. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Jess! All I can think is she's playing a joke on him at that point. All right. I hate to end it there, but I do have to call it a night. Um, this has been actually pretty fun. Uh... I'm actually really glad I played it. It's totally got that B-movie quality to it. It's got some decent jump scares that have gotten me a few times. So we will be continuing this uh, most likely tomorrow. Um, all pending nothing happens. Stream should start, start bleh, back at normal time, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Thursday, as usual, is roguelike night. We will stick with normal roguelike night because I love it and we'll use it as little break from the spoopiness yeah phoenix it's a little early night for me but my wife is gonna be coming home in like a matter of minutes and we're gonna actually have dinner so we are ending a little early um but yeah so thursday will be a normal roguelike night i believe friday i'm gonna do an indie mixer stream i got a number of games i want to go through and show off um, i got like freaking four keys given me today um so i got a number we got to go through i just for the life of me feel like i have something planned friday night so just stay tuned for that when i have a better idea copycat <laughs> penta you and i get a lot of games i know i i know you have a lot of keys i got a lot i gotta go through 
So, yes. <laughs> so thank you everybody for coming on by. I hope you all enjoyed this. I was having a blast tonight. You guys were great to chat with. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings wherever you are in the world. I will see you next time.